Hi guys, my name is Mohit and today we will be touching on something uh, which is not so significant yet. I thought it was pretty important and uh, what we will be learning today is horizontal rules. Now uh, the horizontal rules that Dreamweaver gives us are very simple grey colored uh, and there is not much that we can do with them. Okay, But I, I uh, devised a, a method you know I tweaked uh, certain rules and I got uh, something which is really pretty pretty and nice okay let's see how I can actually have my own custom created uh, horizontal rules okay so let's start I'll first click on create new HTML in Dreamweaver CS5 and uh, this guys is the code view this is the design view right and here uh, these are the various layouts right now usually when you start reviewer it's quite possible that you are in the designer view uh, I would urge you to shift to the classic view somehow I, I love it and uh, in the classic view all you need to do while inserting a horizontal rule is just click on the fourth image from the left this one bam and you have a horizontal rule uh, horizontal line uh, running from left to right and the code the HTML code for horizontal rule is HR okay uh, let me put some title here horizontal rule and uh, let me save it as well I'll call it rule short short for horizontal rule okay let's take a published preview or a preview in Firefox so guys uh, notice that it's just a gray colored thin line running from left to right now basically horizontal rules are used uh, as page dividers for example my name is Mohit uh, okay and this is the page divider guys uh, notice if I click on this horizontal line and I check the property inspector there's not much that I can do I can uh, alter the width I can alter the height and uh, I can remove the shading or uh, insert the shading but apart from that there's not much in the property inspector that can uh, make this simple horizontal rule look a little different colorful you know have some juice it doesn't have much so as I said uh, CSS rules are very powerful today we'll see the uh, efficacy of the CSS rules and how it can even modify something as simple uh, as a vertical you know a horizontal line into a very uh, cool looking uh, horizontal rule let's see how we do it uh, first of all let me just uh, give it some height uh, I'll go with 8 pixels okay I am deliberately choosing a little little bit on the higher side that's because I want you to see it clearly but you may choose a much lower value you could probably end up uh, not more than 5 pixels but that's entirely up to you and the next thing that I'll do is I'll come off the shading okay thereafter with the horizontal line selected or highlighted I just need to click on it I will click on the new CSS rule icon which is this plus icon here under CSS styles I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna drop down the contextual selector for uh, your CSS rule to a compound the moment I do that Dreamweaver understands that I'm applying my rule to all HR elements that are within the body, body elements okay cool <coughs> I'm gonna say okay and now I'm going to define my own rules uh, I'm going to play a small trick here since the background color of the page is white I'm going to turn the mm, the horizontal rule white too that will have the effect of making it disappear okay and then I will go down to the background uh, category and give it a background color of uh, let's say uh, a hash 060 it's a dark green color next 
I will go to the category which is border guys uh, you may be thinking that I'm doing something absurd but it isn't so what I'm doing is something very sly and foxy just hold on and see the end product I'm gonna give it a border and a dashed let's say 5 pixels of green border a hash uh, let's say a hash 090 and then I'm saying I'm gonna say okay guys notice that I've got a very colorful looking uh, horizontal rule here okay let me take a publish preview in Firefox to uh, show it to you Dreamweaver wishes to know whether I want to save the file that's fine yes and that's the published preview uh, probably you might not be able to see this horizontal line properly it's a uh, it's a pattern uh, dark green and a dull green pattern uh, this is it's, it's, it's a kind of a texture that I got here that's cool isn't it let me, let me try some other variation I'm going back to the horizontal rule I'm gonna set the color of the rule to let's say um, uh, a red and um, then I'll go to the background color I'm gonna wipe it off then I'm gonna go down to the background category or rather border category and um, I'm gonna make the dashed border solid I'm gonna go for the width let's say 4 and uh, for the border color I'm going to go with the uh, hash nine zero zero. That's a that's a maroonish color. I'm going to say okay, and then let's take a preview in Firefox. Okay, guys, notice that it's a double colored thick uh, horizontal rule. The bottom is uh, maroonish and the top is reddish. Okay. So guys, this way, playing around with the um, CSS rules, you can create your own custom colored, multicolored uh, um, horizontal rules. You can even use uh, background uh, textures instead of background colors. So there's so much that you can do. You can just play around with the the body HR rule, okay, and. Uh, come up with something that is really cool I hope you like the tutorial there was not much to it though but it's a cool little uh, sly trick I'll see you next time with yet another tutorial on Adobe uh, CS5 probably flash or even review a CS5 bye bye have a good time